what do you think of Alonzo Ball's play here, Charles? And I know you and LeVar have had, um, you know, words through other intermediaries and shows similar to this one. Um, what do you make of his game, this young man's game, regardless of how it's being positioned by his dad? I think he's terrific. He reminds me of a young Jason Kidd. He passes the ball like Jason Kidd, in my opinion, always moving it ahead, always make a great decision. He's perfect at making his teammates better. And then the thing that impressed me about last night was when everybody was struggling, I think uh, Alford and Lee were one for ten at the half, and he came out and he scored to loosen them up. And then they scored after that. But he knew when he needed to be aggressive and score. But, man, I tell you what, between him, that freshman Jackson at – uh, Kansas, you know, I know a lot of people like to kid from Washington, but he's always hurt, so I haven't got a chance to see him play quite a bit. But I know the Jackson kid and the ball kid, man, that's going to be a tough decision for somebody come, when the draft comes around. Well, do you think when the draft does come around, Charles, that, that there will be teams that would shy away from Lonzo because of what LeVar is saying and how, how he's putting his stuff out there quite a bit? No, I don't think that. I mean, you, the kid's just too good to pass up, especially if you need a point guard. I mean, it all depends on who, obviously, because some guys, some teams, they might have a point guard already. Uh, so, uh, if, but if this kid's available and you need a point guard, you got to take him. He's terrific. And the thing about it, the kid seems like a great kid. I mean, I think I finally got a chance to see him talk with this week. Uh, but he's a terrific kid, looks like from a distance. But he's just a hell of a player. Well, can you blame his dad for doing what he's doing, though, with a with a platform? Yeah, I can. Oh. Yeah, they, yeah, I can. You don't have to say he's better than Steph Curry, a guy who's a two-time MVP. Uh, listen, we all think our kids are great. Uh, but I'm not going to say my daughter is better than Maya Moore. That just makes me stupid. I mean, you can think that, but you don't have to say it. And he should be proud of his kid. The kid's a hell of a player. But you don't have to go say you don't have to go at the, uh, at Steph Curry. Steph Curry's earned his stripes, and then you don't have to go after Michael Jordan when you average two points a game. Uh, please, uh, but listen, he was trying. You know, and it's unfortunate because people talk more about him than they do about his son, and they should be talking about his son because his son's a flat out stud. Well, but uh, do you really think, though, that he does mean what he's saying, though, Charles? It just seems to me he's just playing the platform. Yeah, but it, it but it's, well, it just takes away from his kid. Who's been on TV more, him or his kid? Him. And, I, and listen, I know how the media work. They're idiots, most of them. <laughs> they just trying to get ratings and sound bites. But at some point, you'd be like, yo, man, let your kid enjoy his only probably NCAA tournament. He don't want to be asking questions about you uh, during the tournament. He doesn't want – Steve Alford don't want to be answering questions about you. Let let them kids enjoy their tournament. I mean, because some of those kids are never going to play basketball again after the next couple weeks, and they got a chance to do something special. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.